How's it going, guys? It's by TCG, and we've got some ghosts from the past packs. We're still trying to pull a couple of the ghosts. We haven't got them all. Obviously, we're missing a ton. And then I had some chaos boxes laying around, and these are a lot of fun to open. So I figured we'd open them. I honestly hope we can pull some of the really good packs. Um, they're pretty random, but we'll open up... Um, I'm trying to think. We'll open up one chaos box to start and one at the end, and then we'll open up a uh, ghost from the past. Um during the middle obviously or like you know that's how we'll do it but we have pulled ghost shares out of here so it's pretty insane kind of why i wanted to open up ghost in the past with it maybe the cast box can uh give some better luck to Ooh, i actually think we're gonna get some decent packs maybe not let's see fist the gadgets blazing vortex maximum crisis and just and hidden summoners Oh, these are really bad. Don Massey's good. Uh, Blazing Vortex isn't bad. Fist of the Guys is terrible. But, oh yeah, that is a rough start. Let's get Fist of the Gadgets over with. If you guys know, this is my least favorite set. I know there'll be nothing good in there, because there never is. I think the most expensive card in that set is maybe like five bucks. Maybe. Pretty bad. Hidden Summoners is not much better. <laughs> At least give it the risk. I'll give it some respect. And nothing really in there. Maximum Crisis. We actually can pull the original Ash Blossom, which would be cool. I'm hoping we get better packs in the other cast box. Like, you can get some really good stuff in those cast boxes, which you guys have seen. Oh, we got an Ultra Rare, though. Majesty Maiden, the true Draco Slayer. Nice. Probably not expensive, but still a really cool card. And I, we'll do Blazing Vortex before Dawn of Majesty. That opened really weird. Um, technically, Starlight Rares can be in both of these sets. Pot of Prosperity Starlight would actually be pretty sick. And Paramount Folds. So nothing in there. All right, Dawn of Majesty. Can we finally pull? If we pull like a start, like a Stardust. Starlight, that would be pretty insane. And we got a Luber. This used to be such an expensive card. Um, I think now it's... I don't even know. I don't want to even take a guess on what that card's worth. This used to be a 100 plus dollar card, though. Kind of like Baron. Like, no, I'm not saying the same kind of card. But because it hasn't had a ton of, you know... Actually, a Luber got printed in this is why it destroyed the value. Actually, funny enough. But they haven't done that to um, Baron yet. So we'll see. But I still have hope we can pull Red Eyes out of here. I really want him. I just have not been able to pull him. Oh, I, actually, I remember. This is not Ghost in the Past 1. It's going to be in the middle. What am I thinking? Ghost in the Past 1, the ghost was at the back. Ghost in the Past 2, it's in the middle. Vision Hero Ferris. So it's, been a long, it's actually been a while since we've opened this set. I still have quite a bit because I really stocked up on it. Because the ratios were supposed to be insane. They haven't been that great for me, but <laughs> we've pulled two ghosts ever out of this set. And I mean, you guys know how much we've opened this set. Like, it has been an absolute ton. Nice thing, though, is there's a lot of non-effect ghosts in this set. I think there's like, I don't know, there might just be two, actually. But we at least know we have something if there's no effect. See, there's a Luber. See, now Mystic Shine Ball is also in this set, but it's, it's, it's at the back. So can't screw you up. I don't think Mystic Shine Ball can be in the middle. I don't think so. I also don't think there's an XCs in this. That's a ghost. But it's Dark Armed, Eye of Tamias, uh, Cyber Dragon, Red Eyes, Red Eyes, Red Dragon Archfiend, Dark Magician Girl, obviously. Um, Wing Dragon Ross Sphere Mode. 
Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Blue Eyes. I think that's all of them. I think I got them all. So 2100, I'm like, I didn't look, I should have looked at the defense though, because that would have showed you that that's definitely not Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon would be 1600, right? I think it's 1600 defense. There's no Link, right? There's Link's in the other one. Ghost in the past one, there was two links. I'm trying to think, there's no link in this, right? Now that I'm thinking about it. Because they had the. There used to only be five, though. There used to be a lot less. Because the last ghost in the original ghost in the past, it was Blacklister Soldier, Original Dark Magician, Blue Eyes Alternative, Firewall, and I can't remember the other one. There was one other one. Crystal Wing, I think. Or Clear Wing? I don't know. It's a Synchro, I believe. We've got a couple more packs left. And then we'll go into that last Chaos box. Let's see if we can... Pull something out of there. Nothing. All right, last pack. It's a Dark Magician Girl pack. Can we pull another Dark Magician Girl? That would be pretty insane. We actually pulled one out of Sauce TCG's packs when he was doing it, but he unfortunately doesn't do those mystery packs anymore. And a Chaos Griffer. It is really hard to pull ghosts for me. Some people, it's really easy. They pull a ton of ghosts in this set. I should say, I've had really good luck with ghosts not in this set. I think we've pulled... I think in June, we pulled three ghost rares. Which is just insane, actually. One of them might have been... Um, May, now that I'm thinking about it. But it was, it was definitely two in June. Okay, so it's going to be the same packs as the other one. Kind of a bummer, but still, these are really good boxes. Like, if you get, like, the Dimension of Chaos one, it's obviously a much better, but it is what it is. Get this Fist from the Gadgets over with. It is actually one of the better ones, Archfiend's Awakening, but still nothing special. I mean, maybe that card's... Two or three dollars. Hidden summoners. Silver Fangs of Neff is in this set? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Just a super, it's still really cool. Prank its place. I actually, that's actually a pretty cool super rare. I've never pulled the Ultra or the Ulti. In Korean or in English, I've tried. But it's been really hard. Ash Blossom? Nope. Sylvan Princess Sprites. Blazing Vortex. To be honest, if I had to choose, I'd pick a Starlight for out of Dawn of Majesty, obviously. But Pot of Prosperity would be a pretty good one in here. And we got Tribrigade Kit. Sometimes, like, when I'm holding these so intensely, like, to, like, hold them. I don't know why. I hold them very tight for some reason. Sometimes I do that and, like, knock it over. Are these Euro? Made in Belgium. These are Euro print. Actually pretty cool, I think. Look, look at that. They looked, they didn't, you know, that's pretty cool. And just a majestic mirage. So nothing really insane today. Um, definitely have pulled better in the past, but still a really fun opening. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.